we are going to record our dreams in the future. We are already at the beginning stages of this now. So the University of Kyoto has already, using deep neural networks, been able to output what people are seeing inside of their minds. Even later, after you've stopped looking at the image, if they ask you to remember that image, not only are they recording what you're seeing in real time, they're recording your memory of seeing the object. And using these technologies, we are just at the beginning of being able to access the dream world, a world that we all share, each of us, every night, and we have no access to. That dream space that we all carry, most of us don't really remember our dreams and we don't really have access to that information, but it does exist in our subconscious. But imagine being able to go to sleep at night and being able to record that information and wake up in the morning and, and watch, literally watch your dreams. Using VR combined with a dreamscape, we will see in the future a dream economy where we are recording our dreams, where we're selling dreams, where there are dream factories and dream farms, where people go to produce fantastical worlds. What are the ethics of the neurotechnologies that can read your mind, that can see what you're seeing, or can read your dreams or record your dreams? And how do we establish those? And can they be adhered to? Or is it going to get out of our control? There are four ethics of neurotechnology. The right to cognitive liberty, to mental privacy, to mental integrity, and psychological continuity. So psychological continuity in the neurotechnology space is interesting because we want to avoid altering continuity, invading people's psychological privacy. The idea that someone could hack into your mind and alter your memory is a frightening prospect for the future. Unfortunately, that is probably something that is going to happen. Your dreamscape in the future will be hackable. If you think back on your life right now, there's a continuity to your memory. And you can go back over that again and again and again. So when someone says, well, tell me about that time you went to the beach when you were 14, there's a continuity in that memory. But to have a hacker break into that system and alter that continuity and make you forget that you went on that trip at 14, they have changed the continuity of your memory. So these are some of the things that we'll need to think about in the future when we think about neurotechnologies. This realm of recording dreams and recording memory and recording what we're thinking about, we are definitely headed towards that in the future.